from Brazil. And uh, since childhood, I had immersed myself in sports, in different sports, and uh, uh, horse, horse riding, show jumping, and uh, race, car racing, and uh, water sports, and many other uh, sports that's part of my life and it's part of the style of uh, living of uh, Brazilian people as well, very outdoor. I met my husband, he was ambassador of uh, Pakistan in Brazil. He was a polo player. His uh, horse used to be stable as well in the cavalry regiment where I used to do my show jumping competition. We met and that was the a horse affair, let's say, that we got together. This is our village, uh, and he's from KP, and uh, so uh, I've been living here for the past 25 years. After he retired, we came back to, to Islamabad, and this is what I call home right now. Uh, uh, the government has recognized our work, uh, on drug uh, awareness in education institutions uh, last year and uh, also uh, been recognized by the government of Brazil to bridge uh, um, this, uh, the two countries, Pakistan and Brazil. My education was in uh, Italy. I studied at the University of Foreigners and also Academia of Fine Arts, but my deepest passion is service, is to give. And I've uh, been working as a philanthropist for a long time and giving back to community. Now, this is uh, uh, meaningful, uh, in meaningful ways. This is what you're going to get uh, is a satisfaction. You really, when you give, you get. And, and it's, it's amazing, uh, uh, it makes you feel happy. So after Pakistan, uh, globally, <laughs> representing Pakistan globally, we, uh, for years, we settled here, as I mentioned before. And uh, after this, my inimitable uh, loss, when I lost my only child here, so that we decide to, to have the urge, the necessity, that to open up a dialogue in the society and talk about drugs. Because every family near or far are suffering with this, it's, it, uh, uh, this problem. So we found Karim Hanafri, the Welfare Foundation, as you saw in the video, is in his name. So I feel that he lives through it. So our mission course, uh, is helping you to identify, understand, and manage emotions. Because if you do not identify what is inside you, what is bothering you, so then you cannot uh, uh, manage the situation. You know, many times we talk that when sometimes you feel like when you, you people are at the age of the hormones play havoc inside us. We feel like to cry and have no uh, idea the reason why. The reason why is the hormones are playing havoc inside you. So if you identify, you will know and uh, you will understand how to manage the emotions. The next uh, is that I just, uh, we work with the drug awareness prim primarily, but the environment we, is one of our pillars, sports, arts and culture, and develop civic sense. So through these pillars, we empower youth to find purpose, prevent harm, and contribute positively to the society. So what is the only thing that you have? Uh, this is a question. What is the only thing that you have, that you possess, since the way, the, the, the minute you were born till your last breath? Do you have any idea? What's the only thing we have since we were born, the minute we were born till, you can think and you can tell me at the, at the end of the, the, the this session. So I want to like, I want to ask how many people there's sport here? Oof, very, very few. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, yeah, good for you people that are doing, but the other ones, you know, have to move yourself because the benefit that you have, it's unimaginable. 
I mean, the benefit that you have when you have physical education, this uh, that kicks your positive uh, hormones, endorphin, dopamine. You feel good, you feel confident, you feel, you know, that you, you feel powerful. So, like we see the situation of Pakistan today, that a country with 154 million below age of 30, and look how many people we sent to the Olympics in Paris. Seven, two swimmers, one javelin, and, uh, and uh, four shooters. I mean, is this representing a country with 154 million below of 30? It must be something terribly wrong. So it means that we are not moving, we are not exercising, we are not, and when we talk about this chart, that who are the, the, the countries that are always on top of the Olympic chart, United States, China, what United States represent in the world? Superpower. What is China represent in the world? Economic power. These are the top, always on top of the uh, Olympic chart, and they are leading the world. So the connection with the sports, the only way that we have discipline, camaraderie, unity, that's through that. And you see one person with his own initiative, training by himself, brought so much of pride to, uh, to Pakistan. We were all so happy that you got one medal and one person did that and 154 million below age of 30 and several people are delegation. We are disconnect. We have to reconnect ourselves eh, through that. Look, these are activities that we believe this is called sport is the answer. It's commemorating International Overdose Awareness Day. And uh, this, we, it's a team sports that annually we have this event, uh, which is a very, very interesting uh, thing. So we will go a little bit. Uh, these are the top players. And what we want to show here is that you can live through sports. You don't need to have, uh, live only through academic. You can live through sports. They are professional players anyways. No, this is uh, not there. So, okay, you go through society uh, pressures, etc. cetera. And uh, so the wisdom of prevention, we are focused in, pre in prevention. So that's what you go through it uh, during the period that you are. And of course, Pakistan and the world, 8.9 million drug users, 292 million global drug users, 22% unprecedented rise, and that's why we are here to talk to you uh, the, of the drug issue. We have to recognize the wisdom of prevention. Prevention is education. The business is in the consequences, which is selling of the drugs and treating of the, uh, of the uh, trying to recover a, a addiction. The business is there. But prevention is wisdom, not to go there. So uh, these are also, uh, some of our activities, early strategies. This is what we do, uh, uh, teachers training, uh, activities, various activities through our pillars. And uh, uh, I think that we have to accelerate a little bit so we can reach, uh, uh, these are all uh, things that we do uh, on, on, our, on our events and uh, our uh, engagement with the government also, uh, it's showing in there. So there have been many, many, <laughs> um, this we were social uh, partner with FIFA and the qualifier, the football. So we are very active here and uh, we want you to be active with us. I mean, whoever who has a problem of, uh, uh, in the family, or want to avoid boredom, join us, because you will gain helping the others. So I think that uh, we have to pass this. This is our engagement with the government. There are many uh, things, we, our time is getting short. The, I understand the roller course that you people 
I experience. This is not easy. You are in the ladder, starting the ladder for the for our life. It's not easy. Hormone change, as I mentioned before, family pressure and social demand can push you to the edge. But knowing that these feelings are overwhelming as they may be, that will pass. Nothing is forever. Uh, you, you see, we are going, we shall pass from this earth as well. So we want, let's create a future where our youth helping each other, no? resilient, purpose driven, and free from the dangers of addiction. I urge you to embrace this journey of self, uh, you know, discovery. I urge you to together to build a Pakistan where every young person can realize their potential, live drug-free, and contribute positively to the society.